Hi, I want to share with you a swap before I stick it in the mail that I'm doing in a group called Textile Collage on Facebook. The swap was to create tea bag art, three separate pieces of tea bag art. So the first piece I'm going to show you is I have created this mandala. It is I watercolored on top of a tea bag. Well, obviously I boiled the tea bag, steeped it, and enjoyed the cup of tea. Took it apart. I painted on top of it with uh, watercolor paints. Then I drew the mandala with uh, markers, and then I cut it into a puzzle. I did back it with some scrapbooking paper and uh, a, fi a manila file folder. I did the painting on uh, the piece prior to mounting it to the file folder and prior to mounting it on to the scrapbooking paper because the paint will go through the tea bag. So this was my first piece of tea bag art. And the texture is very nice. It feels just like a tea bag. The second piece that I did was this little pouch. And what I did was I steeped three. The, the flower itself is probably six tea bags. And um, I cut them into multiple flower shapes and then sewed them together. And the pouch, I took three separate tea bags and I sewed them together. As you can see, I sewed these two together and then I came back and I sewed it across. So this was my second piece of tea bag art. And then my third was I made a little junk journal. For those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know how obsessed I am with junk journals. So this is, I took a tea bag and I mounted it on to a manila file folder and I put one coat of Mod Podge so you can still feel the tea bag texture. Inside has several tea bags that I have then made into pages. So I did that front and back and then I sewed it together on my sewing machine. Now what I did was these are just different types of tea bags. Some of them are black tea and some of them are herb tea. Then I made pockets. Then I also uh, glued down, once again on a manila file folder, uh, the bags that the tea actually came in, the outside pouch of it, and then I made little tags, and then as you can see they hang off the back. So this was quite fun. Oh, this is a tea bag that I made separate. I live in the Hawaiian Islands, so this one I drew, I hand drew the Hawaiian Islands, uh, colored it, put an aloha stamp on it, and then I covered the um, the tea, the little thing that sticks off the tea bag with uh, Hawaiian fabric and then I sewed on the back of paper clips so it can be used in a journal if she'd like. And you can see I did my corner pocket. This is a page that she can stamp or do whatever on. This one is the center of the signature and it has, you know, I sewed a portion of a tea bag in, on another one and uh, inside are all these little tags that I've made from the cover of the tea bag itself. And this one is once again another little tea bag sewn onto the and again and then you can see the tea bag tags. This was my first attempt at tea bag art. Now this is a little tiny junk journal that I made. I made a made a little uh tiny side tuck spot and then what I did was I took the front of a tea bag cut it off and then inside you can see our tea bags and the outside just as if I was going to make a little junk journal a little, little pocket and then that's the back and as you can see all the little die cuts I hung them off of tea tags to make like little journal charms well, I hope you've enjoyed this flip, this little quick share uh, from my swab, one of my swaps with a textile collage. And if you'd like to join us, it's a great group of people. Look on Facebook, Textile Collage. Thank you. Take care.